Lindsay Hako, an ER nurse who was on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. Then she was diagnosed with the virus and had to self-quarantine for 14 days. The Mount Adams resident has recovered. She returned to work at Christ Hospital and has rejoined the fight with a new weapon, her plasma. So being able to do this really made me feel better about, you know, just sitting at home for two weeks. Hayko donated her convalescent plasma through the Community Blood Center of Dayton. Locally, CBC provides blood for hospitals in Butler, Warren and Clinton counties. Um, I'm a universal plasma donor, so I was like, oh, like, why wouldn't I do this? If my plasma can help somebody else, it seems like um, what, I, what I should be doing. Now the CBC is asking others who have recovered from COVID-19 to consider doing the same. When a person gets an infectious disease, they battle it by forming antibodies. When they recover, the antibodies remain in the person for a period of time. So we are going to remove those antibodies from people that have recovered from a COVID-19 infection, provide those to patients in hope that it proves to be beneficial. Dr. James Alexander says experts can't say this is absolutely life-saving, but he says small studies show this is effective in treating seriously ill COVID-19 patients. Yeah, yeah, they had some positive outcomes so far. For that reason, Hako would encourage anyone who qualifies to donate like she did. And to qualify for the Community Blood Centers program, you have to meet qualifications. You must be 18 years old. You must have tested positive for COVID-19 and have documentation showing that you did. You must be symptom free for 14 days and also take a test to show that the virus is now out of your system. Well, Hawksworth also launched a very similar program. Their qualifications are a little different and very shortly I'll have links to both of the programs on our website. WLWT.com. Reporting live in Mason, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.